Well, hello again, ladies and gents. Uh, back with another video after a rather long break. I've uh, been uh, working my backside off for the last few months. So uh, yeah, apologies for the lack of content. Uh, this video is gonna be something slightly different this time, um, sort of still sticking with the 360 virtual tour theme, but also I'm gonna focus on some still photography as well. Um, now, the software that I wanted to show you guys is something that I've discovered reasonably recently. I've been playing around with it for a few months uh, and it's called Apply Design and uh, it's really, really, really impressed me. Uh, when I first started using it, uh, basically uh, they offered people the ability to do virtual staging quickly, easily, with an online tool. So, you know, no sort of d downloadable software. Um, and the results that I got from it were very, very, very impressive. Um, you know, as you, many of you may know, virtual staging software can be incredibly expensive. Uh, so if you're doing it full time, then yep, that might be an option for you to for you to look at. But if every now and then you need to do a just a quick staging scene of maybe a vacant room in a property, if you're doing a property shoot or uh, anything like that, it, this is a really really good choice for you to look into. Uh, recently, I received an email from them to say that they are also now offering people the ability to do 360 staging. So I got a bit excited <laughs> about that. And I thought, wow, that could be absolutely amazing. Uh, it's still, I think it's still in um, sort of a beta stage. In fact, it may have just come out of the beta stage uh, and it works very, very well. Uh, there's a few tiny little hiccups where, which I think they could work on, uh, but I believe that they are doing so. And I must admit, I've been absolutely blown away by the customer service that I've received from them. So if I've ever had a question, just ping them an email and they've got back to me straight away. So um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a look at both sides of Apply Design. So I'll be showing you how to add furniture in, um, add sort of, you, know, you can add all sorts of things in there to be honest, but we'll go through the, the options, what you've got, how much it costs and all that sort of uh, good stuff. And then we will also do a 360 version as well, um, which I'm sure a lot of you are quite excited to have a look at. So yeah, so without further ado, let's uh, have a quick look into Apply Design and see what it can do. Okay, so here we are on the Apply Design website. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the whole site um, because you can do that in your own time. Um, if you just go to applydesign.io, you can take a good look at it all. Uh, but what I did wanna show you is just to run through the pricing. So the way that it works price-wise is they work on a coin system. So you purchase individual coins, uh, it's $10 per coin, uh, but then it gets cheaper the more coins that you buy. Um, a 2D image, sort of a normal flat photo, costs one coin to render and do your staging with, and then a 360 image will cost two coins. Okay, but I think the fact that they support both 2D and 360 is absolutely amazing. Uh, as I mentioned before, a lot of you know me as a 360 photographer, but I do also do interior property photography as well. So I'm, I'm going to be using this for both different types. So what we'll do is we will jump over to my dashboard now, but to get there, you literally just click on login and then you can log in with your email and password or Google as well, I think. Uh, so if I click on the other tab here, this is what you will be presented with. So. But it's a very, very, very straightforward, easy, easy system to use. Uh, it's simply just drag and drop. So you drag your images into here and then upload them. Uh, the upload time depends on image size. So a 360 photo uh, is going to take a lot longer to upload, probably about seven minutes or so, uh, than as opposed to a normal 2D photo. Also, you need to bear in mind image sizes. Uh, at the moment, I think... The maximum size uh, for 360 is 12,000 by 6,000 pixels, but I do believe that they are looking to increase that size soon. I have requested that myself because a lot of my 360 images are about 18,000 pixels wide. So uh, that would be good to have that option in there just to uh, have a slightly bigger quality. Uh, and then 2D sort of st normal still photos, I've never come across any, any issues. I um, mean, obviously if you're uploading a massive, great big, you know, 51 megapixel image, which isn't really necessary anyway, um, then uh, then it's going to take a little bit longer. So in the interest of time, I've already uploaded, if I click on locations here, two images. Um, so I'm sure you don't want to sit and uh, go through and wait for them to upload. 
So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start with the still photo here. And then for all my 360 gang, I'm going to do a, um, a render of a 360 shot for you as well. I'm not going to chuck too much furniture in there because it's just going to get boring just me watching me put tons and tons of stuff in. But I just wanted to show you through the interface and how it works. So let's click on this one here. We're just going to click on edit. And then it's going to load the image in and there we go. Um, now, one thing that's really, really good with this is that you do have room bundles. So this room's already got a table in it. So I probably wouldn't use a room bundle, but uh, let's say this is a dining room, which it is. You click on dining room and then you've got all these different sort of matching, uh, sort of color coordinated designs. And then you basically just click on it and it brings through all of the furniture within that uh, design that's in there. Um, but what I quite like to do is just do it manually. So I'm going to click on furniture there. And again, you can see that the layout is incredibly clear, incredibly easy to use. The graphics are great. So what should we start with? Let's chuck a rug on the floor. So we'll do that. Um, the thing is, is that there is so much choice on here. It is crazy. Um, I mean, these are just rugs. And as you can see, there's hundreds of them. But the good thing is, is you can, if you see something you like, and I would recommend you do this uh, when, you, when you use it, is to basically just, just click on the star. If you like the look of something, click on the star and then that will add it to your favorite section. Um, so let's choose, uh, let's go with this one here. So we'll add that in and then it'll load up and we'll just plonk it anywhere. And then what we can do is we can, we can turn it around um, and change the size. There we go. Okay. Superb. Right, rug on the floor. Uh, in fact, I made it a bit smaller because it's intersecting those legs there. There we go. Okay, so uh, what shall we do next? Uh, let's do a, a bit of art on the wall. I saw this one earlier, which I haven't favorited actually. I'm going to, which is really nice. So we'll open up this. We'll click add. And then we can pop these there. And then we can do a little sideboard sticking out from here now. I'll use this one. Okay, just loading up. And there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to do, do this. Let's just have it sticking out just so we can see that photo. Boom done now one thing i do want to show you is that you can have control over you know the pitch the roll the you know the vertical horizontal depth and all that sort of stuff um so you could i mean you, you can just drag this which is much easier but if you want to have slightly more granular sort of control you can do that um, and then what you'll see is that if you push it too far then the red section basically means that that it, that part is not going to render okay so you, that's a good sort of visual clue uh, that if you haven't got any red, then you're going to see everything on there, which is great. Okay. Um, what else should we add? Uh, there's one more thing you can do. You can search up here as well. So it says here, for example, piano. I don't think we'd have room for a piano in here, but um, let's search for clock, for example. There we go. And it's got a nice one there. So we'll add that one on and put it on this wall here. There we go. And. Um, and let's do one more thing. Let's see if we can add something onto the table. So we're going to miscellaneous. And this is a huge section you can see here. I mean, you can sort by, um, you know, d default sorting or uh, newest ones that they've added and all that sort of stuff. But uh, there is so much stuff in here, it's crazy. So let me just find something simple ish. And what's this? They call bowl. Let's try that. Okay. Put some here. Now we're going to need to play around with this slightly. So 
sometimes you do need to just chop and change things ever so slightly. Um, can make it bigger. So yeah, see that's showing up there for some reason. So we'll pop that just there. Done. There's a tiny bit of red there, but I don't think we're going to notice that. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Um, obviously, you can add things to your heart's content, but we're not going to go too crazy. So once you've done that, all you do is you click render, and then you've got these settings here, which you can use if you like. It basically just says you can either upload in 12 megapixels or the original size, which I'm going to do, and then we click render. Job done. Okay, so that sends the render over to, over to Apply Design. Um, you can keep editing it if you want, or you can just click on Follow Progress, and then you can see here that that's rendering. Okay, now, to, again, the time for the rendering really does depend on how much you've put in there, what sort of image you're doing. Uh, but the great thing is, is that you do get an email as soon as your render is finished. So you don't need to sit in front of the computer waiting and waiting and refreshing and refreshing. Uh, you'll just get pinged an email and then, uh, and then you can have a look at the, uh, the result from there. So uh, next we're going to move on to the 360 shot. Um, so we shall do that now. Okay, so I've clicked on the 360 shot and we are now going to click on edit. Um, I have already done a render on this. Um, but I'm going to clear that and then we're going we're gonna to start again. Um, in fact, I think I cleared it before. Yes, I did, yeah. Um, so we've got an empty room. This is a, it's an office that I shot years and years and years ago. And um, yeah, just a simple JPEG example image. So yes, well, one thing you can do, which is really, really good, is you can restore a design. Uh, so if you click on that, I've done a design there, and you can restore it, and if you've done multiple ones, there's a drop-down menu, um, and then you can basically restore um, previous designs. Um, in fact, as I've just, I've just noticed, I've just received an email to say that that still photo has finished rendering, so that was probably about, that was really good actually, probably about three minutes or so, which is great. So, in fact, let's have a quick look at that before we crack on with this, so. There we go. That's the render. So yeah, I think you'll agree. That's a pretty impressive result. Um, I do like the way that they get the lighting. That's a little bit dodgy there, but I, I kind of knew that was going to happen because uh, I could see that the shadow was slightly off. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, th these things, th they, they may need tweaking, which is, which is no problem at all. Um, so, but other than that, I think that looks really, really, really good. So uh, let's go back into our 360 shot and then we'll start adding some stuff in here now what i'm going to do with this is i am going to use one of the room bundles so i'm going to go to room bundles and then office sets and we are going to choose i'm sure i saw one which looked like a big sort of board meeting one yeah here your tello meeting room so in this one we've got a big meeting table so i think i'm going to chuck that in front of the meeting room here so let's add that, there we go. And straight away, it's actually, I guess that size quite well. But again, you can you can come, come over here to size, bump it up a little bit. Uh, that's looking a bit too big now. And there we go, so that's our meeting table in. And then we've got a sideboard, which I'm gonna put in here. There we go. Okay, make that a little bit bigger. I think. There we go. Um, it's my OCD kicking in now. Alrighty, and then we've got what's this? Sony TV. So yeah, might as well chuck that on as well. And put that on the wall here. You can see that reflection from the light up in the ceiling, which is really quite smart. This is an office, so we need a nice big telly for presentations and all that sort of stuff. All right, there we go. And now let's pop in a big sofa. Okay, so there's no sofa in that bundle. So what we need to do is we need to come back to furniture and go to sofas. And let's just use this one here. Add. It's a big one. There we go. So. Right, rotate this. 
put that in like that. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Now I think the shadows are quite important as well. You can see it's throwing these shadows on the floor. Um, I think for the effectiveness of the photo, it's good to sort of make them go in, in oops, a little bit mad there, uh, go in sort of a nice pattern across the floor. So I'm going to do that like that. There we go. Superb. Um, and then again, you know, you can do, uh, you can add in all sorts of other stuff. You know, we can come over to art, we can add the same paintings in and all that sort of stuff. So we'll put these up here. Make them a bit bigger. There we go. Uh, but what I'll do is I'm going to restore the other design that I did. Just so you can see what I did before. There we go. So we have the office table there, paintings on the wall, little uh, sort of shelving unit there, sofa, TV, oh, it's on the rug, TV, rug, map on the wall, all sorts of things that you can chuck in. So uh, the image for this, if I just come over to locations, looks like that okay so again i think this is a really 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 good result um you've got good shadows on there um you know you've got the, the sofa with some shadow around it uh this is great you know the the light from the window in there so it's basically taken that from here uh, it's not 100 percent accurate because i think it would probably be a little bit longer but you know i think it's still if you didn't know um then i think uh it's a good uh, good example um so yeah there you go uh, I, th I think you'll agree that that is a pretty straightforward process um, and i think i mentioned before that yes of course you could get this done externally uh, but i quite like to add my own personal touch to, to to my work so being able to do this myself without any software and um, without you know having to you know sort of take up my you know, gpu speed if i'm sort of waiting for a render to happen and i have more editing to do on on photoshop or lightroom or anything like that i can just send this off to render and not worry about it which is absolutely fantastic so um yeah i mean i, th I hope that's uh, been useful and uh I would highly recommend that you give this a try. As I say, you know, they, uh, they, they do give you a, um, a free credit to, to give it a try yourself. So uh, if you head over to applydesign.io, then uh, you can do exactly that. Well, there you have it. I hope you found all of that useful. I think you'll agree that the software is very, very, very impressive. I, for one, am going to be using it often. Uh, there are quite a few times when I do a property shoot or something like that and it's either a completely vacant property or there are a couple of rooms that just don't have any furniture in there that could do with a bit of a uh, bit of TLC and uh, yeah apply design is is going to be absolutely perfect for that for that job and the fact that you can use uh, tokens on it as well uh, just means that you can sort of kind of just pay as you go sort of thing uh, which is which is really 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 handy and um, yeah I mean uh, with regards to the, the sort of the processing times and everything, as I said, it's just I, I reckon you just if you have got a, a large shoot to do or a lot of um, renders to, to process, then just just let them run, leave the computer, come back maybe at the end of the day or, and then come back in the evening and they should all be done for you. So uh, so, yeah, uh, please do leave any comments down below. I always love to hear your feedback and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that jazz if you haven't already. And I would also appreciate you sharing the video as well, because that does help other people out. So do hit the share button, uh, post it on Facebook groups and all that sort of stuff, just so people can also take a look at just how awesome this software is. So once again, thank you so much for your time. I hope you're all keeping well, and I will speak to you again soon. Take care.